Now student let us begin with the next question that is question number 25. Consider the given box. We have this box. Number of substances are given here. If you look at this you will identify these all are the colloids. What we need to do? The ratio of the number of substances in which liquid is present as a dispersed phase. Important thing it is. I will just mark it. We have to just mark the liquid that is present in these substances as the dispersed phase. First we need to identify that further. We need to just identify the substances in which solid is present as the dispersion medium. And if you will do that, you will find out the ratio and on the basis of that you have to choose the correct option. First of all, we have milk. If I talk about milk, that is an emulsion. And in milk, there is liquid that is present in liquid. It means liquid is the dispersed phase and the liquid is the dispersion medium also. Similarly, if I talk about the foam, foam is the another colloid and in case of foam, there is gas which is present in solid. Further, butter is there and butter is a gel. In case of gel, always liquid is present in the solid. After that, jelly we have. Jelly is also a kind of gel. So, once again, I will write here liquid and solid. Mist we have, aerosol. And in case of mist, there is liquid in gas. Similarly, clouds. These are also aerosol. And here also, liquid is present in gas. Dispersed phase liquid, dispersion medium, gas. If I talk about mud, that is sol. Here is solid that is dispersed in liquid. So, this is solid in liquid for the milky glass that is solid sol. And in this case, solid is disposed in solid. Dispersion medium is solid, dispersed phase is solid. Just count. If you count, then you will identify that total number of the substances in which liquid is present as the dispersed phase are 5. Similarly, if I talk about solid that is present as the dispersion medium among these substances, all those substances are 4. So, what would be the ratio? Definitely, the ratio would become here 5 is to 4 that is given here and on the basis of this, I will choose option 2 as my correct answer. So, the answer for this particular question is option 2 after this. The turn is there for next question. Question number 26. Which of the following are examples of the elements? If I talk about mercury, that is a metal and that is why it is an element. I am just writing E for that. Germanium. Germanium is metalloid, but still it is an element. If I talk about air, that is a mixture. If I talk about soil, that is also a mixture. So, these two are mixtures. Not an element. Further, if I talk about silver, once again a metal, and that's why it's an element. So, how many metals are there? One and two, and germanium is the metalloid. Three elements are present here, so we can easily choose A, B, and E are representing elements. Option one is my correct answer on the basis of this. Now, after this, the turn is there for the next question that is question number 27. Have a look on that. If a triangle this is delta represent a physical change and inverted delta that is representing a chemical change then identify the set which is correctly represented here. Let us check in the option 1 a particular set is given this triangle this delta is representing melting of ice. We know that this delta is physical change and melting of ice is a physical change. So, it is correct. This delta is representing bending of an iron rod. This is also correct because it is a physical change. Rusting of Almira, that is a chemical change. Rusting process is a chemical change. And here it is represented by the inverted triangle. That is also correct. Further, this triangle physical change is burning of paper. Is it correct? No, burning of paper is a chemical change, not the physical change. That's why it's incorrect. So this is not the correct option. We need to look at the next option. 
let's check now heating mixture of iron fillings and sulfur powder if you heat these two there is a formation of a black colored compound that is fes ferrous sulfide that is a chemical change this is given correctly further melting of iron that is a physical change why because in this case only the solid iron get changed into liquid iron so this is a physical change not a chemical change this is incorrect and if it is incorrect definitely this would not be the correct option anyways if i talk about sawing of wood that is a physical change that's given correctly further this is inverted triangle or the chemical change melting of cesium at 303 kelvin that is also incorrect because the melting process is a physical change after that we have the third option here let's check burning of wood is a chemical change yes carbon dioxide and water is formed and this is basically a chemical change in which a new substance is formed correct this is physical change bending of an iron rod yes this is physical change inverted triangle once again chemical change representing it is heating mixture of iron fillings and sulfur powder it is a chemical change ferrous sulfide is formed already i have told you now again the triangle again the delta that is representing physical change melting of cesium at 303 kelvin this is also correct it means we found our correct option so i'll just mark here the correct answer but along with that if you look at the last option also you will not find all the correct answers sawing of wood already discussed burning of candle that include both physical and chemical changes similarly rusting of an iron rod that is chemical change and dissolution of sugar in water is simply the physical change that's why for this particular question there is option 3 that is the correct answer so i'll just write here answer that is option 3 i hope this question is clear to you now after this it's a turn for next question let's move towards that